Hey everybody, um, I thought I'd post another video on the Ever Solo audio engine. Um, I know there have been some questions around that, um, enabling it or disabling it, and so I thought I'd give you my view on that. Um, and so specifically, if you go to the settings menu, there is a screen here. I think you've all seen it. What you want, in my mind, is to have it set to original sampling rate. Um, and so that really outputs the original sampling rate from the source, um, whether it's an app, native files on your SSD, you name it. Um, but more specifically, there's an option here at the bottom that says Eversolo Original Sampling Rate Audio Engine. And so when you click the little help button, um, it gives you a whole description of what it does. Really what this means specifically is that it bypasses the Android operating system that's running on the device uh, sampling rate output. Um, and so it actually has, Android has something called SRC, which stands for sampling rate conversion. And so what this does, based on the source, it actually either upsamples or downsamples. And so what Eversolo has done is they've added uh, their own engine on top of it. When you enable it, as I did here, um, is that it actually intercepts the Android input and output interface so that it can enable a hi-fi sound directly from your source, from their applications, uh, you know, from Tidal, Apple Music, Spotify, etc. And so what this really means is that it supports raw sampling output for audio, which is why you want to make sure it's set to the original sampling rate as well, not to muck with that. If you enable this, then um, it bypasses the limitation. And so my understanding is that Android SRC actually has a limitation of 24-bit 48 kilohertz. And so in order to get a better output or a higher sampling rate, it essentially upsamples versus um, the raw output. And so enabling this should allow you to get as uh, true to the original sample or original source without having to upsample or downsample. Now I've heard some folks actually prefer it off. I think it depends on the source or it depends on the app you're using, if it's Tidal or Apple Music or whatnot. Um, and you know, some have noticed that there are some artifacts, and I think that just means that the original source might not handle it correctly or the application. And so if you do notice that, turn it off, of course, by all means, but I recommend in most cases to leaving it on. Um, my view on that is that you want to run as native as possible, bypass the Android operating system, bypass the Android SRC, the sampling rate conversion, so you're not upsampling and downsampling, and I think it improves the audio itself uh, by leaving it on. Now, I'm curious your thoughts or your opinions. Do you have it on or do you have it off? Um, my view is that I don't like to touch the original source or messing with it. And so I prefer to bypass as many layers as possible. So I can try to run as native as I can um, and do that. So that's what this really does. Um, you know, definitely look into that a little bit more. Um, but, you know, what this really essentially enables is pure raw original sampling rate output. Um, I do think, of course, the sampling rate, as I mentioned, is tied to together, um, but my view on it is enable this um, so you bypass any manipulating of your original source. Um, and, you know, it depends on the app you're using, uh, but that really should do it. So curious to your thoughts. What are you thinking? Are you hearing a difference if you turn it on or off? Uh, and if so, with what um, what source, like which app do you use um, and how do you do that? But my view on it is definitely enable EOS. Hopefully this was helpful. Enjoy. Thanks.